Right. More on the horrible alchemy. Now, I'm going to warn you now. This is going to get really, really, really deep now. But what I'm going to show you now, if you can understand it, this is really important, this tutorial. Because if you can understand this, then you'll be able to understand pretty much everything that's happening when you load a patch in Alchemy. All right, but this is really complicated, right? Now, are you ready? I didn't, I warned you, right? I'm going to try and explain this. In the previous video where we looked at the mod maps, we were using this patch. Let's turn off source A, turn off source B, and it was source C we were looking at, which had this, what sounded like a sax lick, with the first note being re-triggered. And every time it's re-triggered, it steps up in pitch. And that's because the coarse tuning is being ramped up by this LFO, which provides the movement only. So the coarse pitch is going to be changed over this amount of time, every six quarter beats, from the lowest to the highest value, and it will transition the coarse pitch from the lowest to the highest value over six quarter beats through this mod map, dividing the movement from lowest to highest value into three steps. But if we look, the coarse tuning is being ramped up by the LFO through mod map two, but the depth, the amount that it's going to pitch up from lowest to highest value is set to zero. That if this was doing regular depth, this would be turned up like that with a blue line, but it's not. It's set to zero. So the depth, the amount the LFO ramping up through the three steps, the total range it can go from this tuning to the highest tuning, the depth, the range of lowest to highest pitch that it's stepping up through those three steps from one to the from lowest to highest, that depth itself is being modulated. Right click on the depth, edit modulation, and the depth is being controlled by the X, Y, pad 2, Y axis through mod map 7 with 12 steps of depth, providing us with 12 semitones. So mod map 7 is simply two steps. So if the Y axis is down here, we're at this value no pitch depth at all being applied to the LFO ramping up from lowest to highest depth through mod map two in three steps, right? So in other words, if the Y axis here is down at the bottom, then it's set to this lower value, meaning the depth is, there is no depth. It can't step up, that's zero tuning, no natural pitch, no pitch to tuning up at all. But if you move this up past halfway, we go to the full range, 12 steps. Then the LFO ramping up through the three steps has a full 12 steps of depth available to it to step up through. Lower this down. Now we have this value being applied to the depth available for the LFO to ramp up through the three steps on the course tuning. No depth at all. So the three times that the sample is triggered, it's always at the same pitch. Move this up past halfway. Now we, are, uh, we have the full depth range of 12 steps for the three step LFO ramp to go up through. So this is our top value. So if I lower that upper value, now the three steps will only step up from this to this value. Right, let me make my y-axis more fine. Let's make it 12 actual steps. So now that's the range that our LFO can step up through the three, our ramp LFO can step up through the three tuning steps between this value and that value. Bring it up again. Now we've got a, 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 a larger range for those three steps to step up between here, between here and here. Or up again. Or 
Now we've got a higher range that those three steps can work between. Or all the way, full range, 12 steps. Oh, pardon me. Are you getting it? This is hellish complicated. Let me build it for you from scratch. File, initialize preset. Single sawtooth oscillator. Coarse pitch. Modulated by the LFO. Set to ramp up. At a rate of, let's say, half a bar. Let's give it traditional depth. 12 semitones of depth like that. But look, notice as I adjust this depth positively, the line extends out either side of the center position of the coarse pitch. That's because this is set to bipolar. right? If I set it to not bipolar, then as I go for positive depth, the depth extends in a positive manner away from the center position instead of out either side equally. right? That's not bipolar, meaning it will modulate from the original position of the pitch upward in a positive depth or down within a positive depth but if it's bipolar then it's going to extend out either way from the center pitch positive meaning it'll go up and back down or negative meaning it'll go down and back up right so we've got a non-bipolar range and there's traditional pitch stepping up and we'll give this 12 semitones 12 steps because that's a semitone control that gives us 12 semitones of range for this LFO to ramp up from the lowest no pitch change at all up to 12 steps up 12 semitones up over half a bar right then we put the mod map in between and we'll give it let's put the x axis to something like six let's just divide that into three yeah, mud. I'll make three steps. Let's put this to 12. Bum, 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 bum. Three steps. There's our three steps. Right. So now, this LFO will ramp up at a half a half a bar speed from the lowest value to the highest value through the three steps. 12 steps in 12 steps in total meaning 12 semitones right but the depth we're going to modulate the actual depth meaning the total amount of range that the the, the LFO can ramp up through those three steps from the lowest to the highest value at the moment it's fixed here by the depth control 12 steps but we're going to reset that and modulate that with the XY pad to Y axis this control on the Y axis from bottom to top that's our total range right and give that 12 possible steps through uh, what's mod map one is oh, we're using two right so through mod map a new mod map and we'll give it just two steps Let's set the y axis to 12. Two possible steps. Come on. Like that. Now, this means <coughs> that the course tuning is being ramped up from lowest to highest value by this LFO through the three steps. But the amount that it can go from the lowest to the highest step, the depth, is being controlled by. This XY pad, the position of it on the Y axis through that mod map. So in other words, it's only got two choices. Down the bottom, no pitch change at all, no pitch depth at all, or up past halfway, full pitch depth of 12 steps. Bring that down. This is the only available range now for the LFO to ramp up through the three steps of the tuner. No range at all. Well, this is our upper value, so bring that down. Now the three steps will ramp up. If I bring this up so that we're getting the, the second step, the LFO will ramp the pitch up through the three-step mod map between this and this new lower value. Or lower down. 
or lower still, or full range, 12 steps. Are you getting it? It's it's three stacks of, of modulator. Tuning being modulated by this, that provides us simply with the movement from the lowest to the highest pitch at the speed set here. But it's doing it through the three steps of the mod map. The depth that it can go through those three steps from the lowest to the highest is being controlled by this, whether it's at the bottom or the top, through this mod map providing just two switches. Lowest, meaning no pitch depth at all. Up there, half past halfway, full pitch range, or whatever we decide to set the upper value to. Right? Do you understand that then? Try and digest that. Work through it. Experiment a bit with what I've shown you. Because this, trust me, this will really help you to find your way around alchemy. Okay? Digest that, and then I'll give you some more.